Oh, hi. Today is October th uh, 3rd, 2000, um, 2019, and we're looking at the 2016 Cobia, Cobia 21 Bay Boat. The 21 Bay. And I'm going around the boat right now, and you know, there's all this type of little stuff, but it's like when you stand back here, you don't see it. So it's it's all like normal, like dock rash and, and, and stuff like that. And going around the vessel, I don't see anything else. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm looking at the boat. And, um, you know, there's all kinds of, you know, minor blends for a three-year-old boat. You know, it, it's just, you know, all docking uh, stuff. Not only that, um, the, the vessels, you know, have been docked a lot, you know, put it that way, you know, and, and this, you know, it's been polished out and you can still see it's a little hazy, just a little haziness. I don't know if you can see it, but, you know, good buffing, uh, a cut and compound. You can see where they kind of buffed it here, but didn't buff it there. I don't know if you can see it in the glare. You might have to, but overall, I don't see any, any major gouges or anything like that on it. That's a bird poop. And then here, good buffing here. It's a little little slightly oxidized and stuff like that and then we're looking at the engine the prop looks good it's not perfect but you know it's it's used and um the engine itself you know there's paint on that skag so I, i'm sure it's it's been painted because none of these boats like down here barnacles we could look at a couple but you know there's no gouges on the bottom of the boat stuff like that and they would have painted it too so you really wouldn't see it. There's little barnacles there on the uh, transom assembly. That'd come out with a little snowball. And then here's the uh, engine itself. So, the engine looks really good. <coughs> Front cover, that's just a little dirt on air assault. But all this stuff, no, none of the screws are, are, are rusty or anything like that. And then we pull the oil out. It's brand new oil. Yeah, you can't see. Yeah, it's brand new oil I'm dripping around. <clears throat> brand new oil and filter. And there's a hydraulic steering on either side of the skeg. And then the engine itself, it's got the same type of docking, you know, uh, burns, rash burns, or something like that. You know, there's no decals. A little scratch. And then the front one here, it is the worst area right here. I don't know if you can see all this little little chips and stuff so but that's a that's a, a walkthrough of the exterior so let me uh, let me jump on into the interior I'm going up the ladder and yeah, the boat's a little dirty you know it's underneath this oak tree here so you know we got an oak tree but as I as I come up the post just just dirty but I don't, I don't see any rips or tears in the seats or anything like that you know it's a 21 I don't see any stress cracks in the corners or anything like that now I'm, I'm still looking around too over here is where the live well is you know it's colored blue and so it's nicely finished off hardware and back here you'll flip up the seat oh, the seat can use a little good good cleaning you know this shows some wear and tear but a good cleaning it's fine it's still serviceable by any means and the hardware up and down nicely. I'll try to lift this up. Well, yeah, it's the same as the other one there. You know, it's a little grungy right there, but it'll probably clean up with a little snowball. You know, like, even this, it's got a little bit of grunge to it. But I'm looking around inside the console. Looks pretty clean. Broken zip tie. And then uh, just a just a sort of junky little fish finder. It's not top of the line by any means. And then I already took a picture of the hour meter, so it's a Yamaha uh, gauge that pictures online. And these are the gauges here. So uh, as we look underneath, a little mold right there. So really a good, uh, you know, a $300 cleaning. And in the boat, we, you know, spick and span, perfectly shining. But, you know, you're not going to get this. You know, it just kind of looks a little yellow because that's where it, it um, the sun uh, you know, bleaches it down. Here we have the compartments. These are all good. And gas strut right there. So that's all nice. 
here's where the cooler is. So here you got the cooler and the fiberglass storage, gasket all around, some leaves. Thanks to fall. Uh, storage locker and, and uh, gas truck. That's all seems to be good. It holds it up normally on its own. And then, and then I, if I remember right, I stuck the cushion in here. Yeah, there's there's the cushion. And this also, it's a little, I mean, it's a little grungy, but this is what goes on a cooler. And there's a little, there's some shells and stuff like that, and you know, from the anchor. But overall, it looks, you know, just just a little dull from being underneath the tree and having a little of uh, dirt on it, but you know, and here's where the cooler goes. And then you open this up. And then you got your tackle storage. That's where all your wires are. All the wires look good. Steering. Look come here, you know. I don't know if you can see that, but it's just the uh, aluminum. And it's always this leading edge nav lights. Cup holder, you know. I'm gonna get a couple new ones of those. There's that light cockpit lights. I like replacing them all with LED lights anyway. Hydraulic steering. Oh, steering's nice. The engines all run good. Seven person capacity. Here again on this side, there's no I don't see any stress cracks or crazing or anything like that. And the stanchions. I don't you know, other than dirt. I think uh, it looks like a, a, a very nice boat. I, I'm looking for a stress cracks or anything like that up here. I'm going around the whole floor. No, I don't. I don't see anything. You know, and the t-top all shows. You know, this area here shows very well. Get it up top on the roof. Oh, that's the roof. Rocket launchers. Anchor light. Usually, most everything works. It could always be a bilge pump or an app or. A or a um, um, bait well light that doesn't work or something like that but overall uh, I've had great success with the engines um, this engine here uh, has got 1,500 hours I'm just rounding off a little bit uh, of which almost um, 1,200 hours is under 3,000 rpms and only like 350 hours ish is um, over 3,000 rpms so it's not run hard or very it's not run at cruise speed it's always below cruise speed 1200 hours below cruise i think 1000 hours um right around under 2000 rpms so it's um the, the boats all are you know not run hard uh and do it done a lot of idling around so here again to recap on the 2016 21 bay boat is uh the boat's just dirty from being underneath an oak tree and and you know with no appointments on it you know the it's it needs a good bath other than that it, it needs a good polish and i think you're ready to go so uh this is jim emmett from tier Verde yachts and uh just wanted to give you the the scoop on the 21 bay so now you can see it uh from from um i think you said you were coming down from the panhandle or so so uh, you you see the vessel and um there's no nothing gouging big on the backside or anything like that so i try to keep this uh this is eight minutes 37 seconds so i'm gonna go ahead and um shut it down there and um let me know after you take a look at this so we'll go from there uh jim emmett tier ready yachts thank you very much bye, -bye.